Let's listen into House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler addressing reporters after this hearing and vote. Uh, innumerable subpoenas were issued by the Republicans without bothering to have any kind of vote or meeting of the committee. We, we are giving the Republicans the, the, the opportunity uh, to, to debate and to vote on, uh, on subpoenas, which is uh, different from which they, they didn't give us. Second, uh, I am gratified to hear from at least some of the Republicans that they will join in a, uh, as plaintiffs in a lawsuit uh, uh, to force uh, revelation to the committee of uh, grand jury material if necessary. Of course, we hope the Attorney General will do that first, but uh, it was gratified to hear that there, Mr. Sensenbrenner and some others say that, uh, that, that they agreed and that they would uh, uh, participate. Mr. Chairman, uh, you, said, you said in there, uh, you said. <laughs> idea that, that you're not going to send them yet. You still want to talk with the Attorney General. What yeah. happens between now, between the authorizing vote today, and what happens next? Well, we're, we're going to work with the Attorney General and uh, uh, for a short period of time in the hope that, uh, uh, that he will, that he will uh, uh, reveal to us the entire Mueller report and all the underlying materials, and we'll go to court uh, to, to get permission to have the 6E material. Uh, uh, but if that doesn't work out in a very short order, we will issue the subpoenas. What does that mean in a very short order? I mean, you're willing to do that as soon as this week to serve the Justice Department with subpoenas? I say a very short order. Beyond, I, I can't say which, how many will, days. Are you willing to negotiate any middle ground in terms of redactions no. of the mo You're not? No. The committee must see everything, as was done in every prior instance. Uh, obviously, some material will have to be redacted uh, before it's released to the public. Uh, to protect privacy, to protect the various rights, but uh, the committee is entitled and must see all the material and make judgments as to what can be redacted for the public release uh, by ourselves. We handle confidential material all the time. We have uh, facilities to do that. We make those judgments, uh, and, and we're not willing uh, to let the Attorney General, uh, who after all is a political appointee of the President, uh, make that substitute his judgment for ours. The Attorney General to, to figure out whether or not he will join you in going to court or well, I, I think I said we, we, we were going to negotiate with him yes that you do speak to someone you're negotiating with Does it feel strange all these years later to be holding up Ken Starr sort of a model of transparency no we're not holding up Ken Starr as a model of transparency uh, we're holding up the fact that uh, uh, that his entire work product was given to the uh, Judiciary Committee to the Congress uh, as was the case with Leon Jaworski, as was the case in, in various other uh, situations, um, uh, period. The quality of the work, uh, et cetera, et cetera, is a different uh, question altogether. And again, the Republicans kept making the same fundamental, uh, repeating the same fundamental mistruth time after time. When, when we were opposing release of some of that material 20 years ago, it was released to the public we were opposing because that material, some of it was very salacious, was very private, uh, involved private individuals, and should not have been released to the public. Uh, it had already been released to the committee, which was proper. What we're asking for now is the release to the committee, and that's not what was at issue 20 years ago. You, you, plan, to go, you plan to go to court? You plan to go to court without the Justice Department to get the grand jury information? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you. All right, a lot of news just made there mm -hmm. by Chairman Nadler and the Judiciary Committee. Um, as we bring in Joe Lockhart, former uh, Secretary, Press Secretary for the Clinton White House. Look, just to tick through some of these big headlines here, um, very short order. Mm -hmm. It means he's just giving a little bit of time to Barr to change his mind here and release full report. And asked by Armando Raju, Joe, if he will compromise at all on not getting the full report, maybe mm -hmm. a few redactions. He said, absolutely not. We handle classified material all the time. We must see the entire thing. So, sir, any world in which Barr agrees? Uh, I don't think so. I think this, this goes to court unless somehow um, members like Congressman Sensenbrenner and Republicans on the Hill really want to take this case up. I doubt they will. Uh, they've never really shown any interest in taking on the president. Uh, so my guess is they'll, they'll, they'll stay relatively silent and let a mm -hmm. judge decide this. So 
there's precedent here, of course, and I, I don't want to make it's not an exact equivalent because President Nixon, there, there were there was clear evidence of crimes there, uh, but with the tapes, right? Yeah. When all the way to Supreme Court, the Supreme Court decided yes, the tapes should be released. Is there a similar argument in your view? You saw Democrats on the committee make that <clears throat> argument that the evidence that Mueller pulled up here, including evidence that Mueller cited of obstruction of justice, though he did not make a judgment on it, Barr made that judgment. That, that's the, that, that material would be ruled by a court, which we, we should note has a 5-4 conservative majority. Uh, would they be likely to do the same thing and say, yeah, it's got to be out there? Well, I think if they follow precedent, they, they, they will. I mean, again, I think uh, uh, Chairman Nadler made an important point there. He's not talking yet about releasing this to the public. Mm -hmm. He's talking yeah, about true. whether that's Congress true. has a right to see this. Mm -hmm. And there really is no precedent that I know of, uh, as particularly since, uh, you know, we haven't heard an exertion of executive privilege from the, from the administration. What we're really fighting about right now is whether this grand jury testimony, which is supposed to be secret, but has been released in, in other cases, um, whether that's going to be released. So I think on the na more narrow issue of whether the House Judiciary Committee is a separate but equal branch of, of our government mm -hmm. has the right to see this whole report, the Democrats have a very strong case. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Joe, I just want to ask you politically, because you are a political strategist mm -hmm. as well, um, on how far you think the Democrats should play their hand mm -hmm. here, meaning what will it mean for them in 2020? Obviously, this is going to be a question posed to all of the 2020 contenders. We've seen the polling that shows that Americans aren't exactly enthused in terms of this being the number one priority for Democrats. They want things like health care, et cetera, to be addressed. Sure. So, you know, do you think the Democrats, as this fight likely goes to the courts, need to be a little bit aware of that now? Yeah, I do think they need to be aware, and, and it is a balance. I think right now the Democrats are in a very strong position because they're making a very simple argument. It's not a legal argument. It's not complicated. It's not health care and all its complications. It's there's a report, and the public wants to see it. 80 percent, 75, 85 percent, depending on the poll, want to see what's in there. By the way, 80 percent of Republicans want yeah, to see this. Yeah, want to see this report. So I think politically they're in a good place now. Okay. They do, they do have to be careful both not to crowd out other issues and not to take it too far. I think what, what gives them a lot of latitude right now is even after 10 days of the president and every Republican you can find screaming from the mountaintops, this is total exoneration, still less than 30 percent of the country believe that. Mm -hmm. So Democrats are not, the, the public does not view this as settled. If they did, then there'd be the threat of backlash. But yeah. because they don't view this as settled and they want to know more, um, I, you know, it's a, the interesting parallel back to, um, uh, to President Clinton, there was, there was huge interest <clears throat> in what what had happened when the star report came out and everybody knew what had happened you know all a lot of the interest faded away you know mm -hmm. if you look at the cable tv ratings mm -hmm. they were down um, around the time of the like the senate trial and house impeachment the biggest interest from, coming from the public was what happened we yeah. want to know what happened mm -hmm. we want to be able to make our own judgment uh, about what happened here mm -hmm. and whether you know what should happen yeah i remember when it was released and you know f leafing through those pages on capitol hill for for, for the details manu uh, back on the hill you, you just were able to speak to, to the house judiciary uh, ch chairman there what happens next yeah, the next question is when these subpoenas will be served. I tried to ask that exact question to Jerry Nadler just moments ago, saying, will they come this week? He said he did not want to say that. He did not want to put a time frame on, but he said they would come in, quote, short order. So it's unclear exactly uh, what that means. But uh, he indicated that this was something that he was not going to give the attorney general a lot of time to, re to respond. He said he'll give him some time to respond. Now, and a big question also has been how much is Jerry Nadler willing to negotiate, if at all, over the number of redactions in the Mueller report? I said, will you negotiate? Are there any possibility you could be open to any middle ground in redactions? And he said flatly, no. He said that we must see the full Mueller report. We are not going to let a political appointee make the decisions for us on what we want to see. So we need to see the full thing. That's what Jerry Nadler yeah. just said. So they're not going to accept any middle ground. And he also, also asked him, 
Are you going to go to court without the Justice Department to try to get that grand jury information that they are asking for, the Democrats are asking for? He said, absolutely. Yeah. So they are gearing up mm -hmm. for what could be a, a protracted legal fight with the Justice Department. So we'll see how the Justice Department ultimately responds. Uh, yeah. yeah, and as our guest noted last hour, Manu, Barr could go to the courts with them, with Nadler, mm -hmm. right, and say, we think there's public interest. Let yep. us release this this grand jury information. Manu, great reporting. Of course you got Nadler to talk. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.